Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. I have missed you. I've missed making what's for dinner videos and we're back. Um, this video and this dinner definitely have a lot of predating quarantining meals in here, but a lot of them, a lot of them were during the quarantine. Um, just most of them were before I got really sick and had no energy or desire or willpower to actually make dinner. So my amazing husband has been helping out since I've had such bad morning sickness, but nonetheless, these recipes are amazing and no matter when I made them, I still want to share them with you because you haven't seen most of them, for me at least, and they're super good and definitely worth the share. So, I hope you enjoy them. It's kind of a mass overload of what's for dinners, but now that I'm not having such bad morning sickness today, I'm trying really hard to buckle down and look at food and get through this, so let's begin. All right, so the first thing I'm showing you is a date night. I love showing you the date nights. It's like a little mini vlog I can include because they're so much fun. We actually, this is before the quarantine, we went and saw The Gentleman, and it was super good. I know now that you can rent it online, and I highly recommend it. Definitely not good for younger viewers, but it was really entertaining and really good. I loved it. Kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. We then went to Cheddar's, and if you have one locally near you, you need to get go there. It's delicious. And if you ask, they give you honey butter chicken, or not honey butter chicken, but gets honey butter croissants for free and they're amazing so delicious these weren't warm so the butter wasn't melted which was kind of sad but they were still delicious as you'll see we will eat them all um i got a this was supposed to be a side salad and it was ginormous and then i also got a texas sweet tea which is so good there if you get them highly recommend unfortunately i can't have them anymore now that i'm pregnant i got a steak and mashed potatoes honestly this wasn't my favorite part i didn't eat it all uh jazz got the monte cristo which is his favorite and is a really really good sandwich highly recommend that there um, but cheddar's is amazing all right let's get to actually cooking some meals shall we i'm going to make a ritz chicken bake it is so delicious um, but normally on my channel i make a different type of chicken bake that is from mandy in the makings channel and it was a subby supper and actually the person who sent the uh, subby supper in you commented on my video that i made it in uh recently and it was so cool i love that recipe my family loves that recipe it's so good but this time we're trying something a little bit different i took three eggs whisked them together i'm taking a whole sleeve of ritz crackers and crushing them up as you can see here I definitely recommend using Ritz it just makes the recipe what it is you need that buttery moist type of cracker I don't think saltines or any other cracker would really give you the same outcome as like a Ritz does um, but you do you whatever you have on hand I then am taking um, some pepper and some garlic salt and just mixing that all together and getting it nicely evenly mixed so we can coat the chicken with it. Um, sorry for my shoddy camera work. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And if you notice, these videos are kind of all over the place. They're not in order. Some are from earlier in the quarantine, some are in later. It is what it is. I just hope you enjoyed anyway. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. Swing of things. Anyway, I'm taking my chicken. I'm dredging it in that egg mixture, and then I'm just coating it with the Ritz. Um, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I like to use thinner chicken breasts. They just cook faster. I find that they're just, you don't have to worry about having undercooked meat. It's just a lot easier. I like the thinner ones, but you can use whatever ones you prefer. I personally just think the thinner ones are just easier. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm just mixing it all together. You, that Ritz makes just about three uh, for three pieces of chicken. So if you're making more, then double it. Next, you're gonna use a lot of butter. You can't skip on the butter. The butter's really what makes this dish. It just makes the chicken super moist, adds a whole lot of flavor. It just wouldn't be the same if you didn't use the butter. Um, but obviously, you're gonna pretty much coat the whole entire chicken with the butter, pop it in the oven, and let it do its work. Next, I'm making zucchini for the side dish. I make this all the time. It's one of my favorite things. I love zucchini. No one else in my family does, but I continue to make it in hopes that one day they decide that it's actually great, like I think it is. Once again, we're using a lot of butter. You can use oil if you want. You can use whatever you have on hand. Honestly, I don't think I had much oil left and we just use butter. It is what it is. It's hard to get stuff right now. So we're making the most out of everything and I'm using butter. Um, you use whatever you want. Check out that hot outfit. You see that with the pajama bottoms underneath and the little 90 there. I'm looking real sexy behind the camera and you're missing out. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
I'm just gonna saute up all this zucchini. I'm using uh, Trader Joe's Himalayan Pink Sea Salt, which is one of my favorites. I like getting kind of larger chunks of salt with the zucchini. I think it just tastes really good. I'm using pepper, and I'm using some garlic and wine seasoning from Melting Pot. It's really delicious if you can get your hands on it. If not, just use like garlic salt, garlic powder, different garlic seasonings you can find at the store. Sauteing that up, making sure that each zucchini is evenly coated with the seasoning as well as the butter, and then letting it do its thing. It's super easy. You literally just let it go. Then I'm taking this pasta roni. This is the four cheese corkscrew pasta. Not my favorite thing, will not make it again. It was bland, nah. But the chicken, look at the golden deliciousness. Oh my gosh, the chicken's so good. You need to try it if you haven't already. Really a crowd pleaser, delicious. I already ate half of the zucchini by this point. Don't judge me, once again, you just let it go. It cooks itself. I like mine a little bit more mushy. You decide how mushy and crunchy you want it. But if you can see here, it's just the sauce never thickened up. It was super bland. I had to add a lot of seasoning. It just was not my friend. I would not recommend this pasta roni, Ross, Ross, roni pasta, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Wouldn't recommend it. I would just use regular mac and cheese on the side next time. However, everything else was a crowd pleaser. My kids loved it, my husband loved it. This is something that I would make for my family, my family's family, what have you. It's delicious, it's comforting, and it's a good wholesome like family meal. Next, we're making some enchiladas. This is another really inexpensive meal to make during this time, taking some flour tortillas, ground beef. That rice deroni is amazing. I make it a lot. Tostita salsa cone queso, definitely need that. Red enchilada sauce and um, some cheese. I'm just following the directions on the rice aroni box um, and toasting the rice and little pasta granules first and then following directions. I really like this rice aroni. I normally use this, the old El Paso one, or um, the taco rice that you guys see all the time from Nor. Whatever you get your hands on right now, you do you. Next, we're just gonna ground or brown up that ground beef. I'm using a cup of the enchilada sauce. I'm following the recipe that is on the enchilada sauce can for these enchiladas. I'm then taking about another cup of cheese. Um, I think this bag is two cups, so I took about half of it mixing that together and that is what is going to be our filling for the enchiladas of course you can add vegetables you can add different types of meat you can go meatless you do you i was just following the cancer recipe next time i make this though i do think i will try different things maybe some green chilies maybe some different vegetables who knows whatever i'm feeling frisky with um then i'm just putting a little bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom of the pan putting my tortillas in there filling them up rolling them super easy really filling a really inexpensive but yet really big meal this is also a really good freezer meal option if you're trying to do some freezer meals right now whatever you're doing in your life this is a good one um my husband loved this meal i would tweak a little things and i will get back to you if i tweak it and find the one that i personally like but it was still really good next i'm taking the queso now this was not on the recipe i just thought this sounded really good probably my unknown pregnancy cravings at the time um next time however i think that i would put this in the mixture inside just a little bit i think on top it was a little too cheesy but mixing it inside with the other mixture i think would be really good probably better in my opinion however like i said my husband loved it the more cheese the merrier in his life Life, you'll eat cheese morning noon and night but basically I just pop some cheese on it enchilada sauce and then more shredded cheese put it in the oven until it was nice and delicious and bubbly and everything was melted and cooked through and then this is what the um, Mexican rice looks like when it's all fluffy and delicious and then here is the enchiladas nice and bubbly and yummy once again this is a really inexpensive meal and really filling and serves a lot of people I just had mine with some sour cream and some iceberg lettuce with a little bit of cherry tomatoes chopped up on top to add a little bit of freshness and a little lift from all the cheese um, and it was really good. Like I said, I'm going to tweak it a little bit more to find the sweet spot, at least for me, and I will get back to you on what I decide with that. Next, we're making a little bit of a lighter, more healthy meal. I'm making asparagus. I love asparagus. Um, I'm just covering them with a little bit of olive oil excuse me, and a little bit of garlic salt, popping them in the oven and letting them roast and do their thing. 
Then we're cutting up some sweet potatoes. These ones, my husband had to cut. They were really hard. I don't think I've ever come across such a hard sweet potato. I just don't know if they were not ready. Um, next, I am taking um, some sweet potatoes in my air fryer. And here is my question for you. This is an instant vortex I got for Christmas. You might have seen it in my what I got for kids, what I got for Christmas video. Um, and I can't seem to get like that metal taste away from the actual basket. So if you guys know how to do it, I've washed it, I've tried everything, let me know because it's driving me insane. Anyway, I did saute up some salmon with some honey and some soy sauce mixed together and poured it on top, but for whatever reason that clip did not it's gone. I don't know what happened to it, but we had salmon, sweet potatoes, and asparagus, and it was delicious. It was super light, super healthy. A lot of you guys ask normally what my kids eat if they eat the same meals as we do. I try to typically feed them the same meals, but I knew that they would not be eating salmon. However, they did have vegetable raviolis, and they had the other vegetables. So they did have sweet potatoes and asparagus, and then fruit on the side as well. But we do try to make sure they eat the same meals as we do, just so they have a well-rounded diet. Okay, so I've been marinating some chicken tenders um, in barbecue sauce for a couple of hours now. I'm using the uh, B-dubs. B-dubs. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings honey barbecue sauce. This is my all-time favorite barbecue sauce. It is so good. And Walmart sells a pack of three with the honey barbecue, an Asian one, and like the garlic parmesan one. Um, but I know that if you can't find it, I think that you can... Oh yeah, see looks like this um, this was on sale for four dollars it's normally been like eight at least at my Walmart or ten or something like that and I wasn't gonna spit pin spin that now that that's a bad deal because you get three full-size bottles but it was on sale for four so I got it anyway if you can't find it though I think they do have a you can buy them at your local uh, Buffalo Wild Wings but anyway they've been marinating in the barbecue sauce for um, a number of hours. I'm going to cook these up. I wish I had a barbecue and knew how to grill because that's what I would do. Um, I'm kind of copying Jessica O'Donohue's recipe that she made with the barbecue chicken salad. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cook these up. We're going to cut up a bunch of different ingredients, put them in a salad, and that is dinner. So let's get cracking. Okay, I got my salad all cut up. I just use iceberg. Um, I have some grape tomatoes, I have avocado, which I know Jazz won't eat, but I will eat. I just put some lemon juice, a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt, and some pepper on there. We also have some authentic wonton strips to kind of add some crunch. Wonton. And then we have um, some great value, great northern beans. I haven't decided if I want to put this on here yet. Um, Jessica put corn on her, or I mean, put corn and she put black beans. I don't like black beans very much. I haven't decided. We'll see. But I do have a canned corn that you plan on putting on it. And then we're gonna still have to cook the chicken. <laughs> and we will be in business. And Jazz is shredding cheese, which is literally his worst nightmare. Um, he cuts himself almost every single time. Knock on wood. Sharp objects. He's scared of them. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna keep working and we'll show you what we're what we're working with. What? Okay, so moving on the chicken, but we have a can of corn. I probably used too much. I would use less next time. I mean this bowl is huge, but still. Um, the wontons, some cheese, avocado, grapes. We're gonna cook, cook the chicken. And then Jessica mixed, she used sweet bay rays, but we're using the Buffalo Wild Wings. She mixed ranch and barbecue sauce together to make the dressing so that is what we're gonna do and then i'll show you it plated up but right now this looks pretty good the chicken cooking away and i'm making some homemade ranch to mix with the barbecue and we should be good to go okay so chicken is done it looks friggin amazing but please excuse this very nonchalant what's for dinner i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit but I just mixed some of the ranch and barbecue together. I don't know why I was apprehensive. I've never tried anything like this, but of course I've tried barbecue ranch, so I don't know why I was so apprehensive. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It is so good. Thank you, Jessica. I am so excited for dinner. So I'm gonna get everything plated, and then I'll show you at the end if you're saying that. Guys, I'm so looking forward to dinner tonight. <laughs> Finished product without the barbecue ranch looks delicious and amazing thank you jessica if you haven't already followed her you're missing out she is like so sweet and so kind i'm obsessed with her videos 
she's great i will have her linked below because she's amazing and you need to follow her and thank you jessica if you ever see this this is such a good salad i'm so excited all right i just want to say that salad was one of my all-time favorite salads i've ever had and my husband who hates salads loved it too definitely recommend it especially with the warmer weather coming now here is our really thrown together st patrick's day meal one of my very favorite meals of the whole entire year i love corned beef and cabbage and as you can tell i'm not at our my home we are at actually my mom's house we did see her throughout this quarantine i know this will be upsetting for some of you but we actually needed each other's help um i had to go to the ob multiple times and she had to watch the girls because i couldn't take them with me um same thing for her she had appointments and things like that we had to help each other out we never went out anywhere else we didn't go shopping in the stores we literally only saw each other that is it so we knew what we were exposing ourselves to and what we were we weren't exposing ourselves to and we were actually still under ratio like i said i know it will upset some of you guys but i want to be honest it was such a big blessing for my mental health and my kids mental health and i'm so thankful i got to see her anyway here is our hello gouda vibes burgers from hello fresh i know a lot of you guys don't like to see um meals from like meal delivery services so i'm not showing the whole thing but if you want to pause this and make it these are actually really really good the potatoes were so yummy and so simple i need to make them like that more often um these were delicious we did use HelloFresh in the beginning because we couldn't get our hands on a lot of meat and other ingredients at the very beginning when quarantine happened and HelloFresh was still delivering on time and it was perfect and really helped us out we've stopped since um but i like delivery services i think right, they're fun in quarantine territory lifestyle mule number 155 i honestly don't know where we are in our isolation but i wanted to share this with you because it's cheap and it's very few ingredients and when you're you know trying to live off the land <laughs> um this is what we got you can just ignore the extremely messy kitchen but we were able to get our hands on some pasta. Actually, my mom was so kind to give to us. It's been so hard to get pasta, at least where we've been. But we got um, some bow tie pasta. And then I made just a basic, like, white sauce with ingredients we had on hand. So, butter. I melted butter. I should have showed the filming, but it was chaos here. I melted some butter and some just minced garlic. And then I added a little bit of the starchy pasta water. Probably, like, a half to three-fourths cup total. And then a um, three-fourths block of cream cheese, melted it all together, and added some salt and pepper. But we're out of pepper right now. Um, but it is so freaking delicious. Obviously, this isn't like the healthiest of healthies. But when you are, are, are we really caring in this moment right now? <laughs> um, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese on top of mine. But that's what I'm going to do. I am going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning in mine. But Olive wants the white sauce Eleanor is... What sauce color do you want? Um, red. She wants red. So Jazz and her two peas in pot are having the red, um, but I just made white sauce. And so Eleanor or Ollie and I are gonna have that, but I will put Cajun seasoning in mine a little bit later to spice it up a little bit. And then some Parmesan and that is dinner. Probably some fruit on the side. Yep, I heard you. Probably some fruit on the side. Call it a day. I will show you when it's plated up. But this is a really cheap, really easy thing. For most of you, probably have it on hand right now. Easy pantry meal. Just wanted to share it. All right. Yep. I just want to say this was amazing the day I had it, but with my morning sickness, like I could never look at this again and be fine. Um, however, if I wasn't having morning sickness, I think I would eat this. Not often because it's not the healthiest, but it was amazing. It was so yummy. Next, um, my camera cut out the audio, so I won't be able to tell you what actually was happening here, but we did go have like a little meal out. It was like a drive-in place and you ate in your car. It's in the, if you live in the DFW area, it is called Baker's. It is the best burgers and fries and corn dogs and hot dogs you will ever have it is so delicious we make our, our way there every so often i got a burger and crinkle cut fries which are my favorite and it was so yummy it was nice just to sit in the car and just enjoy each other's company and be outside and as you can tell my husband loved it and it was delicious i recommend that place if you are in the dfw area and we were also watching the office as per usual but that's going to be it for this What's for Dinner video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I'm trying to get back in the saddle with everything. But thank you for being so patient. And all your amazing congratulations and warm and well wishes on my pregnancy announcement video. 
it means the world to me and I'm so thankful to be able to do this journey with you guys as well um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and got some really good meal ideas if you haven't already I would love it if you followed me on Instagram at Sarah England and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and also turn that notification bell on so you're notified 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 every time I post but thank you guys again I'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys